Sup nerds, I'm Wetz. Let's talk about the latest from Red Raven Games, Deep Vents. Red Raven Games can almost always be identified by really awesome artwork and some unique mechanics making a pretty awesome game. In Deep Vents, each player is competing to build the best ecosystem and you've each got your own ecosystem that you're building out and you're buying from this row. So it's basically like a engine building tableau building game because every turn you're going to add a tile into your tableau into your ecosystem and and like most games with a lineup you can take whichever tile you want starting with one side every one you skip over you have to leave a money on and then you know take the one that you want slide and replenish and so on if you take one of the ones that has money on it you get to keep that money and the money are archaeon archaei I, I don't remember what they're called but they're they're monies and there's two things that really make this game interesting. The first one is that when you go to actually activate your tableau, you start at the top left, I guess for you guys it'd be top left, tile, and you go across that row, and the next row, and the next row. So as you're building your tableau, you have to be really mindful of what you want to trigger when because the higher you put it and the more left that you put it it's going to trigger sooner and sometimes you want this one down here to trigger after this one because maybe it takes money off of one tile and brings it onto its tile or maybe it has some kind of effect that spreads things out to all the tiles around it and so you want another tile to activate after this one or, or after this one. Either way that makes some really interesting decisions. You have to really plan out not just what's going to combo best together but in what order I want it to combo. And so I'm gonna put it that way in my tableau. And then once your tableau is starting to build out, like how is this piece going to fit in? Like, can I make a cranny so that I can get this tile later and it's gonna trigger off these two, but maybe I lose it. Maybe somebody else takes it or something else better comes along. It just some really interesting decisions. The other thing that's really cool about this game is the money works in like multiple ways. You've got your bank of money that's kind of like your life and end of game victory points all in one. And that's the money that you spend out here to get the tiles that you want into your tableau. And then you've got the money that's actually in your ecosystem. So in your tableau, if your deep vent just defaults to generating two money when you activate it. So you activate it and put two money on it. Now this money stays on the deep vent. Next turn you activate it again and you put two money on it. Now there's four money on this deep vent. And each turn you can choose to like activate or trigger, and I don't remember the actual turn, but there's like two different abilities that almost every tile have. The first one for the deep vent is to generate the resources and then the second one is to take all of the resources on that deep vent and add them to your bank so now you have more money to go out and buy things with other tiles though that ability could be to move the resources that are on them to other tiles it could be an attack it could be some other ability that is on here and there's all kinds of different crazy abilities that you can do but you have to choose if you want to do the like build money action or spend money or, or do other action uh, ability and one of the big abilities that you're going to be doing in this game is attacking and when you attack you you know sometimes it's attack one player sometimes it's conditional like attack any other player who has this thing or any player who has a squid tile has to kill that tile basically and flip it over. And so when you attack them, they're losing that money. If you ever have no money left, you have to take like one of these debt tokens, which is minus 10 points at the end of the game. Every money is a point, but then you basically get a loan of 10 from the bank. You can pay that off later because there are like ties. And if you get too many of these, you're eliminated from the game. So you definitely have to be careful of that. I didn't see a lot of player elimination in our games of this. I have seen some people complain that in a game like this, player elimination feels kind of out of place. But again, I didn't really see a lot of player elimination. The other thing that you can do to mitigate attacks is by getting these shells. 
and shells basically cut an attack in half. If you're getting attacked for five, you cut it in half and round down, so now you're only getting attacked for two. These shells are also like the best component in the game. Like it, it's hard if you don't actually get to feel it, but it's not, I mean, it might just be plastic, but it almost feels like a real shell and it looks like a real shell, just super cool components. Now, my, my only real complaint with this game is the iconography, and it is made pretty language independent that everything just triggers off of icons, but the icons aren't always like super easy to decipher. Some games, like once you kind of get a gist for what the different types of icons are, it's really easy to infer like, oh, obviously this means this thing. And there are some like that, but more often than not, we were having to consult the rule book every single time because there is a nice little guide to what each thing does but honestly there and maybe we were just dumb but there were some tiles where like we had to consult the rule book every single turn because we forgot what they did because you're building up a big ecosystem you have to remember what each thing does and if you can't like if the icons don't do a good enough job jogging your memory then you have to look up again what that specific tile does it, I, I liked how variable all the tiles were. I liked that the iconography keeps the artwork really front and center. I don't know, there was almost like too much consulting every time what each thing does. Now, maybe just make every player a copy of that guide, and, and they probably should have included one in the box so that you're not passing around the rule book or constantly asking the person who has the rule book to read you what your abilities are. But that's probably collectively our biggest complaint with it. I absolutely love the way that you're building at your tableau though. I love the way that you're trying to balance like building resources and then attacking for resources. There are certain tiles that like suck resources or, or money from one tile onto their own tile that they can then spend. Like that was super cool because then like, okay, I'm gonna put them next to my deep vent because that's constantly generating resources so I can move those over to that and use that to do a really good attack. But maybe I don't wanna do that this turn because my money's getting kind of low so I need to pull these off my deep vent and my personal bank. I don't know. It was a really fun game. It's not super long. I think it's 45 minute, 40 minutes on the box. There is like a time limit in that there's a certain number of rounds once your tableau gets to a certain size game over, just count up your points. But I definitely enjoyed it. I mean, I, I enjoy all of Red Raven's games. That wasn't a surprise, but I definitely recommend checking this one out. I also recommend Game Toppers. We've got one right here. Super awesome. They really elevate the gaming experience. They make you feel like you're a real board gamer because you've got like a real board game table without having to like dedicate the money or the space in your home to a whole other table. This can fit right on top of your dining room table, a folding table, whatever you have, and turn that room into a game room. Definitely check them out. There'll be a link under the like button down below. There's also a link to buy Deep Vents. There's also a button where you can subscribe to our channel and that way you'll never be bored.